Hey, let's find out what's gonna go. I just forgot what I was gonna say. Let's take this again. Take two here. Hey, let's find out what's gonna happen in 2023 with the Stray Kids. I hope you've had a wonderful solstice. It is freezing cold. Now, I'm sitting here this morning. I was complaining about it being like negative two or negative six in the morning. And I realized my poor cousin out, you know, in the, um, around Indiana and such, we know it was like minus 20. So this is all Fahrenheit. This is, this is, this is freezing, freezing booty cold, folks. Uh, often when things get even, if it was like minus 20, which has happened here in Idaho, schools close. We close. Because <laughs> it cold. You don't go out there in that cold. It's not safe for the kids to be waiting for school buses or walking. <laughs> so yeah, it's icy cold. And solstice. This is also my son's 16th birthday today, and I'm so happy for him. He's growing up, and he's just a good, good all-around person. <laughs> So I hope you all are wonderful here. Welcome. I am D Sparta, and yeah, I'm a psychic medium. We um, cover true crime, paranormal, conspiracy theories, and celebrities, K-pop, because these are all things that I really enjoy. <laughs> and I love the community that we have met, found here. So if you want to join, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, so you know when my videos come, because... I don't have a set schedule because, yeah, I, I it's easier to when I am well enough and, you know, depending on what's happening in the world, if I should do a reading or not, you know. <laughs> anyway, folks, I love you all so much. Oh, okay, so Celsius, our temp was like a negative 15. And for my cousin, it was like a negative 28, so Celsius. So that just gives you an idea just how flipping cold it is. And my wife was nice enough to send me the information just now. <laughs> yes, she's here in the room with me because, you know, it, it is cold and we're home. <laughs> and I do love having her around when I do these readings. <laughs> Anyway, we are going to talk about Stray Kids. Yes. They, um, people are noticing them more and more. Um, no, I don't think they could ever replace BTS, but I really enjoy them. Pilixu is probably my favorite. His voice is... He can get those low deep voice. And I love that. And then he can go real high. And that is so fucking awesome and takes talent. Takes a lot of work. Vocal training, you know. But anyway, <laughs> we are first going to get into some of their astrology. I'm going to cover each person's astrology. Then I'm going to do a group reading and then individual little mini readings. This is going to be a long video, folks. Yes, I'll have the chapter link so you can jump to your favorite parts. I hook you all up that way, don't I? <laughs> all right, so let's get in to the astrology. Hello, my friends, and thank you for sticking around. Now, I've done a previous video on the Stray Kids, and I did go a little bit into, like, you know their uh, astrology but i'm going to do a review of it some of you are new here and if you're just new uh, let's get into this i do not have the rising signs for the members except for Bang Chang. Chong. Bang Chang, he has his rising um sign uh his birth time of birth um public so i was able to get his rising sign but nobody else so um, hopefully someday we can get more accurate readings for the astrology and I can get into a birth chart. So now, Bang Chan, he is the leader of the Stray Kids, you all know. Um, I believe the color for him is orange. He is the lead vocalist. He is the lead dancer. He is a rapper. He is a producer. He is a lot. <laughs> 
Now, his rising sign and his sun sign are both Libra. And then his moon is Taurus. Now, what that kind of means is now our rising signs is, as I always explain, is who we show to the world. It, it's what we see. It's the part of us that we show. The sun sign is the part of us that is our core of who we are, where our ego is. The moon is our emotions and how we respond to things. And Libra is an air sign. It is a fixed air. I mean, not, no, it's not. It is, a, the symbol is the, um, my mind went blank, is the, the scales. Because it's all about balance. And that means it, there's a lot of indecision that can come across. Because they're like, but there's this and there's that. What do I do? What do I choose? And the fact that he's got like dual <laughs> Libra going on in him. It's a cardinal sign. He, pro you know, I, 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 I feel for the dude. I do. <laughs> but they're very gracious, fair-minded, diplomatic, um, very relatable and cooperative. But like I said, very indecisive, wants to avoid comp confrontations. They do carry a grudge and kind of like, oh, woe is me kind of things. So that is a Libra trait. So you there, those could be some traits that you might see in Bang Chan. Um, now for the moon sign, that's Taurus. That is a um, earth sign. It's fixed. The symbol is a bull. It is a feminine energy. Now what's interesting is the planet that rules over both Libra and Taurus is Venus. Venus is all about the core of our relationships and marriage. So he probably could be very attracted to people who are Taurus or Libras because of this. Um, now, the kind of how he rela relate, uh, re re respond to things and his emotions is kind of possessing, possessive, but patient, practical, very devout, reliable. Um, can become uncompromising. Now, the Libra energy probably overpowers his uncompromising, but he may feel like some areas he won't compromise because of how he feels about something. All right, now let's get into the next person. All right, so the next member we're going to go into, looking into is Li No, um, real name Li Minho. Uh, I guess his colors are purple. He is a main dancer, a lead vocalist, and a rapper. Um, now, his signs, I don't have the rising, as I said, but I do have the sun and moon. He is the sun Scorpio, while the moon is Virgo. That blows my mind. I wonder what his rising is. Ah... Uh, because this combination, Scorpios, um, they're very resourceful. They're, it's, um, it's a water energy and it's fixed. So it's really powerful. They're very passionate. They're going to be a true friend, but they can be very distrusting and jealous. Um, and they may have kind of like a hot temper. So they do, that's something they have to work on is, you know, not using violence, not lashing out, but that's like the sun sign is what we are supposed to be learned, what we need to learn that's life lessons for this time. Um, but then when we go into his emotions and we have this Virgo energy, you know, Virgo is mutable and it's very hard, it's hardworking and kind and loyal, um, also, he could come across very shy and overcritical of himself and others. And so you kind of, how he feels about how we respond to things may not be such as powerful Scorpio energy, but more of this Virgo um, where he wants to stop and be think things through kind of stuff before reacting. That's kind of, you know, what you might see in Lino. 
Um, they also have a very, uh, when it comes to intimacy in the bed, uh, yeah, Scorpios often can be very, um, they, they're good. <laughs> or they're, um, they, they, they really like doing that okay <laughs> I just, uh, TMI here folks but this is a legend now Chang Bin um, colors blue he's a main rapper he's a vocalist he's also a producer his signs he's got his sun sign is Leo and his moon sign is Leo he has got to be able to charm you uh, uh, Leo energy is is fire that we know of, that you know I've mentioned to y'all before, and it is just it. It's um, the planet that rules over it is the sun itself. So it is this fixed fire energy. These people creativity. They love creating and getting very passionate about stuff. They um, also have a very warm heart and can be very cheerful and humorous. There is a part of them that could be kind of a little self-centered because there's a little arrogance that Leos do have, a little stubborn arrogance. Um, they can also be a little inflexible and lazy. Well, because, you know, they know better than everyone else. <laughs> but they've got the charm and just, yeah, and the creativity. This is why he is really good in the entertainment business. I mean, he's got double Leo going on. I wonder what the rising is. Huh. <laughs> now, let's look into Hyung Jin. Hyung Jin. Um, now, what we know about him is, I think his color is blue? No, it's green. Sorry. He is positioned as main dancer, lead rapper, a vocalist. He's also the visual, the center. He's supposed to be, you know, handsome. The better looking. <laughs> All these guys are good looking. Um, now, his energy, his sun sign is Pisces and moon Virgo. Now, we already talked about how Lino has that Virgo moon also. <laughs> What's interesting is that Lino, um, his sun sign, Scorpio, is a water sign. Pisces is a water sign. These two, I wonder, working together, that... They probably seem to be in sync sometimes. They probably do come across very in sync. Um, Pisces energy. It Well, first of all, it's the two fish. It's water. Um, it is mutable, which is adapting. Pisces are very intuitive and very, when it comes to having compassion for others, that empathy. They're extremely artistic and gentle. Um, music. Music is so key. Muse, very musical. They can be a, a little fearful, but over trusting. Um, they can come, you know, sometimes they'll come across very sad and, you know, just want to dive into the music and the creative process to, as an escape to reality almost. That's kind of like a Pisces energy. Um, and, like, you know, I've already gone over the Virgo moon which is all of that hard working and loyal and analytical and kind. So we can shy because we got, you know, he probably does come across a little shy. Now let's look into Han. Han. Now <laughs> Han is a sun sign Virgo where the moon sign is Pisces. So he's the, uh, the reverse of Hyunjin, um, which is interesting. Yeah, that just, like, that's interesting. Virgos. I see a lot of Virgos in K-pop. I got to tell you, this Virgo energy. I, it, Virgos can be very hardworking, and everything can be, like, all work, no play. And I think in order, a lot of times, to succeed... In such way, um, K-pop way they train and they work you. I, you know, I am not surprised to see all these Virgos in Stray Kids and also in um, BTS. And they're just, it, it's this energy, it, you know, 
I, and I think that they look, agencies look for people who have these traits of just hardworking and creative and good looking. You, know, you just, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Virgo is that earth sign and it's flexible so they can adapt to things easily and they're kind that they're very practical there's that shyness and they do worry a lot about how things are coming across what's going on they are very hard on themselves they're hard working sometimes they have to learn hey excuse me i have to do it deal with my heater because <laughs> it's cold <laughs> um <laughs> they can be really hard on themselves and if they're working with others they can be really they can come across critical of the others one of the things to keep in mind is they're thinking it's like i'm trying to be helpful but some people may be like no, no you're not helpful you're pissing me off <laughs> so that there could be conflicts with other people who are not virgo where they're like can you just give me a break now <laughs> pilixu pilixu um he is also a Virgo. His moon sign is Aries. And Aries is just incredible. It's fire energy. And it is very... So he could be very... Uh, it's, it's also a cardinal sign. And, and it's the sign of the ram. Now, this is like... The, so how he responds to things is very confident, enthusiastic, optimistic very honest and passionate he can be a little moody impatient a little impulsive how he reacts to something be like uh maybe have that short temper but there is such a playfulness about his energy and you add that with the hard-working virgo side it i think that i just he stands out now siyong min also is a Virgo Aries. Just zap. Like I said, there's a lot of Virgo. <laughs> now, um, I-N is a... Oh, I forgot to tell you about Felix. <laughs> Felix Su, also some people call him Felix, but Felix Su, he is the lead dancer. He is the lead rapper. He is a vocalist. He, um, you see reaction videos all over YouTube of people re responding to, you know, his songs. What is it? God's Menu, where he hits that deep voice a lot. And um, Maniac is a, one that I, you always see them responding to. There's just a, you know, where he just, you don't expect this low, low voice come out of this person. This, And yet, there it is. Now, Seong Min is the a main vocalist, and Ian is a vocalist, and he is the youngest. Um, his signs is, is Aquarius and Leo, so he is air and fire. Um, Aquarius, it is the symbol is the water bearer, but yes, this is an air sign. Um, his would be very independent humanitarian kind of um wanting to be original and different very progressive very good with networking and uh, working and getting to work with others um it is a fixed energy um so but he probably comes across almost aloof and temperamental not wanting to always compromise and when you got that Leo in there, that's a, they, there's very similar with this inflexibility and arrogance, but very cheerful. And so he responds with very warm heart and is very, with a lot of passion and very creative. So there we go. We've gone through all of the members of Stray Kids. We got this. We got this, didn't we? Yes. I keep wanting to say stray cats because that, that's something different. <laughs> stray kids. <laughs> Let's now get into the tarot readings. I know that's what most of y'all come here for. But I know some of you also like getting to know a little bit about the astrology. And I don't mind going into that for y'all. So here we go.
Hi, welcome back. Let's get into the tarot. All right, folks. Um, I am using uh, one of my favorite decks. It's a manga version deck for this uh, reading. Now, first, we're going to focus on this part right here. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, there's people talking around me. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. The people had left and then they came back. All right. So we're going to be looking into 2023. Let's see. <sighs> yes, I do have noise canceling headphones, so I don't hear things, but I do have music and I have a K-pop playlist and a lot of Stray Kids and Jackson Wang and BDS and Blackpink and I got Twice and New Jeans, you, you name it, I got them. <laughs> so let's get into this here. Ooh. Okay. All right. So here's the Two of Wands. And that's the first card to pull out here. Wands, fire energy. Um, two. It's usually there's something going on between two things. Um, this. <sighs> interesting it's like they're planning um on something they're in the midst of making a decision sometimes this means someone's going to be leaving home but i i'm feeling more of this is they're making some big decisions of a direction of their direction they don't want to be um told that you know that's whole Oh, you're the next, you know, BTS. They want to make their own imprint into the world. And they're trying to figure out how to do that. And honestly, I think they already are doing that. They have a different style. And that definitely, you know, stands out. That It's why they stand out about among some other groups. Let's see here. Um, okay, so, oh. Here's the Five of Cups, and this is reversed. Um, cups, water, energy, five. Often, you know, there's stuff, you know, the Five of Cups is usually there's self-pity or loss, but this is finding peace. This is acceptance. And moving on. And then with this card here, maybe there is some kind of move happening. So J Hope's arson just came on. I... This song has been in my head all morning. <laughs> now it pops up and I have music shuffled. <laughs> all right. Stray kids, stray kids, stray kids, stray kids, stray kids. Nope, too many cards just fell out. What is going with this group? There's something big. Okay, here's the page of wands. This is young energy. This is fire. Um what I'm this is there is an excitement. Um, there's going to be free. There's freedom. It's freedom to explore other avenues of things. Well, we might see some more solo, see some solo stuff. But I, I think they are really working on this, you know, exploring other avenues and making some decisions. Now, the first, here's this cup just popped out. And this is the Ace of Cups. This always is like the beginning of something, you know, it's Ace. This is um, new feelings and creativity and spirituality. And this is over. So they might also, um, some of them dealing spirituality and learning to follow their intuition. And that's going to help them with their decisions. Okay. The cards are 
Let's try that again. Oh, wow. Some of these cards are all a mess. <laughs> Okay, two cards fell. So, this is the Ten of Pentacles, and it's reversed. Okay, so they're very concerned about just having a fleeting success, not having a legacy. This is such a focus. They want to have a legacy of their own making. Um, and the other card that fell was death, which means this is a rebirthing. Um, and with this exploring and freedom, there is... <laughs> Maybe they might leave their agency... Something is, there's going to be a change. Big change. We might get more information about this change when I get into each individual person for 2023. But there's, you know, this death card, it's Scorpio energy also, okay? And it's that's water, and we know... Um, Nino is Scorpio, so maybe it has something to do with him. But um, this is the end of the cycle, a new beginning for them. And this is a change. There really, there is this, they don't want to be a cookie cutter K-pop group. They see what BTS has done. They don't want to imitate them. They don't want to imitate others. It's. We got to find our own niche, but not lose our fans. You know, the stays are very important to them. So they're trying to find, um, figure out how to, because they're, they realize the path they're on now, it just, they, they feel like it's just be, their success is just fleeting. They want more. They want to work harder. They want to find their own way. Um, yeah. And here's the two swords. And this is making tough decisions. So there is something. I I wish I knew exactly what. But it's stopping them. Because they're like, we need to rethink things. We need... and. There's a major decision they're scared to make. There's a nervousness. But they also feel like if they don't take a chance... This card flipped out. No, it didn't. Okay, so... Yeah, if they don't make the change, what's going to happen is this. They're not going to have happiness. Uh, the Ten of Cups reversed. They don't want to end up this with um shattered dreams they don't want to see their dreams shattered so it's there's a big change a rebirth for them maybe something someone new involved it's like some addition coming in maybe they're going to collab with um you know how BTS does all these collabs with like Coldplay and Megan Thee Stallion, you know. I'm wondering, they're trying to get into something like that. But they want to choose, they want to, it's like, they don't want to come across as imitating BTS. They don't want to look like they're copying someone else's success because they want to do it on their own, but... There's an opportunity, and they are, it's a scary decision. Gosh, damn it, these cards. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
here's the thing. This is the devil popped up. This, the devil is right over. This is just um, very playful energy um, pleasure. They might be wanting to get into, come across a little bit more sexy, kind of sultry. Um, they don't want to be like cookie cutter, clean cut little. But they're afraid of a scandal. Okay, so we got a little bit of well info there on um, the group as a whole. And now I'm going to do individual reading, mini readings for the other members. Like I said, these are just going to be very short readings, unlike what I did when I did like full length. If you want a more in-depth reading on any of these members or all of them or pairings, please let me know and I can do so. I will do a, um, you know, my polls. I'll do a poll. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to be doing a... Um, on my Patreon, Pilixu with... Um, I, see, here's the thing. I've been going back and forth because Bang Chang is a one, you know, it would be interesting to see those two, but Xiong Jin, I am really curious about, how, you know, how they get along. I would say because we got earth energy and water energy, this that's very compatible. They would get, they would get along well with one another. I would see that. Um, but yeah, we'll see, <laughs> but I do think I'll be doing that on the Patreon soon. All right. Now we're going to go into the leader, Bang Shan. Let's do it. Hi, let's look into Bang Chan. Bang Chan. His sun sign is Libra. His moon sign is Taurus. Just to remind y'all. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting really into things. I'm got this picture. Of, these pictures are in front of me over here, and I'm just like, he's very fierce. It's so high. But also, just yeah. Okay, so. Hmm. All right, for 2023, we got the Lover's card. Then we got the Six of Swords. <laughs> oh, we need, I need more cards to, to figure this one out. Let me tell you. Lovers and Six of Swords. Let's see here. All right, and then the, um, no, wait, that's, not the, that's the Four of Swords, and then the Six of Swords. That did just drop just now. So, folks, <laughs> the lovers can mean several different things. It could mean a relationship. It could be a union or choices having to make. It could mean love and romance. Now, the swords energy, this is air and, you know, the fourth one. This is finding rest and restoration and just being able to contemplate and make the right choices. And then the um, Six of Swords is leaving behind. It's a transition. It's moving on. And I saw something going on. <sighs> what I sense is going to happen, I... I, 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 I don't think this is a romantic relationship that he's breaking up with. He is moving on from something, breaking up with something. 
Um, uh, I really hope he's not leaving stray kids. Maybe it's more of taking a hiatus, a break. He might need a break. I'll get a couple more cards. Um, we'll see. Get see if something more comes. This card popped out. Strength reverse. I think he's burnt out right now. Something has happened. Um, strength is the fire energy. It's um, Leo. No. I just... Usually you got courage and inner strength, but this is feeling lonely and doubt and weak. It just... Like... He has no more to give. He needs that rest and restoration. Because this guy, here's the Ten of Swords. I, this, if you see the image, see all the knives in their back? You see that, right? This is collapsing. This is feeling defeat. This is like, you know, it's being stabbed in the back, maybe. Um, what is going on over there? They're with um, JYP, aren't they? That agent? I'm almost positive. Uh, pretty sure that's who they're with. Right? I'm going to double check here. Um, they are with JYP. I was right. And they... Okay, so originally there were nine members. Then they went to eight. Okay. And they debuted only in 2018. Like... Oh, wow. So they got there before the pandemic, but I think that slowed things down. Okay, let's see here. I gotta get... Fine, John. What are you up to, bud? Justice. So there's like a stabbing, a betrayal or something going on. I don't know. It's a relationship with somebody? Or with the agency? Like, are they... But I have a feeling if something with him goes, I think the others would follow, don't you? Something is up with this group I but they are going to there could be a lawsuit maybe but it's like they want the truth to come out something isn't fair it could be money and their treatment the Yeah, the Page of Wands reverse just popped up. So, there is per conflict going on. He has a conflict with somebody, and I think he feels like things are being procrastinated longer than it should. I don't think he likes the direction that he's being told that, that they should go. He doesn't think... He wants to make a better, do different. There's this, wow. Okay. So, folks, well, there's um, the leader of Stray Kids. Let's move on. And let's get, look into Lino. Hi. Now we're going to um, go see what is in store for Changbin in 2023. He is a Sun Leo and Moon Leo. <laughs> the song Circus. The Stray Kids song is in my mind. Just came up. It's a good one. It's not 
one of their best, one of my favorites, but it's still fun. I think God's Menu is probably like one of my faves. Okay. Interesting. Here is the Five of Pentacles, and she's reversed here. Um, if it's upright, usually some like that, this is usually someone, it would be like greed and possessiveness of money. Um, or no, they're needy or poverty, but this is reversed, so this is recovering. Um, a recovering of money? Maybe an improvement, maybe and a new contract. Let's see, they debuted 2018. Do they have a contract coming up? Makes me wonder. All right, let's see here. Changbin, what you up to, buddy? Mm. Hmm. Yeah. This, uh, when I said there was a recovery, yeah, because this is, here's the Nine of Cups, and you see there very happy they are living well um but so i was gonna do my reading on lino but i just all of a sudden i felt more chang bin energy and this is what i'm getting wow it's like he dream it's like finding stability living in luxury um hmm let's see here what else shame in shame in shame in okay and then i have the seven of wands reversed this is that fire energy um action so seven is you know it writes it up as be their persevering and maintain but this is feeling very overwhelmed almost giving up having a lack of confidence but what? Why? Why is this overwhelmness? But, okay, they want, they're, they are working hard so that they can live in emotional stability and, and live in luxury, but it's, the work is becoming overwhelming. Okay, okay, we, we, we I get, I'm getting his energy here now. Um, let's shuffle. This is... He's such a sweetie, too. I th huh. Here's the Seven of Swords reverse. Air energy. Um, mind. And Seven is, um... Something had happened. And it's like... Rethinking... You know how I kept saying in... In the original Stray Kids reading, it was wanting to change, rethinking approaches, that finding, you know, someone's going to come clean about um, the treatment they're getting. And it has to do with finances. It's good. And he is going to be, there's a key with him about this. Maybe he notices it first, finds out. The, I'm not sure. But... It's like, he feels like they're being punished. Um, the Page of Wands. 
we're back to this fire energy and it's reversed and it's the page this is um the conflict there is conflict that's causing in procrastination just like what um bang chung also was feeling they both got this both got these cards so this there is it's like a facade we're seeing how everyone's happy um but there it's like there's no direction i want to change this direction i want to make changes and it's like being held back or being told oh later so it's like being procrastinated things are procrastinating here's the empress and she's reversed okay so yeah there is there's this the empress energy is feminine it is nurturing it is beauty and luxury um it's creating giving birth to something but this there's somebody like smothering them very selfish um the, the agency is you know what helicopter parenting is if you don't know what it is it's the parents who always have to watch over their kids and be in their you have their kids in their eyesight and like redirecting a, just this constant you know almost like controlling their kids and not letting them grow and explore and i was seeing that this is what they want to do in 2023 they want to explore they want this freedom and i think it's hurting chang bin is really getting the blunt of some things i don't know why though all right now i will go back we'll get into lino next okay thank y'all for your patience Hey, hey, we're really going to do Lino now. Um, sun sign is Scorpio. Moon sign is Virgo. So just remember this. We got water and earth signs going on here. And then we'll see if the cards kind of pull up any of that. Um, let's see what's going to be for 2023. All right. So. Now, this card showed up in um, the main reading, which is the Alka. Oh, my, my hair got caught in the headset. This is the Five of Cups reversed. Now, if it was upright, this would be like grieving and just some badness. But this is um, just finding acceptance of themselves, moving on, or finding peace. So, this, I. I what and then the three of cups fell out and this is usually a collaboration working with others a uh, new project fresh start the three of cups you know it's about community and finding friendship and happiness and i think it's i need to that there needs to be changes i need to move on in order for me to accept myself and find this happiness in the community, there is going to be a stir up in the K-pop community more and more. The more there is the world's eye is on the industry, the more we're going to see the mistreatment and some of the greed of those running these agencies and some of the mistreatment of these kids. Um, Fourth generation of K-pop is coming out. There's four generations, folks. It's just you now, and they are um, young and younger than young. Some of them are like 13, 14, you know, 12. It's like, what? You're just 12? Hmm. Um, but, and they're put with these older kids, too, and I don't know. Okay. So, we know. Ooh. Okay, here's the Eight of Cups, and it's reversed. Now, if you look at the card, she's, you know, 
leaving. But there's stuff on their mind. And with the moon there. Um, this is all, you see all the cups. This is water energy. This is where you find Scorpio, you know. But I, I, I'm concerned with the... This is walking away, feeling dis, disillusioned. Just leaving everything behind. Wow! Something, I don't... When, you know what? When I got the reading, when I my first BTS reading, it showed them going off on their own projects, doing this hiatus. Uh, and then a few weeks later, they came out with... We're going on a hiatus, you know, and starting solo projects. And I was like, and when I first saw it, I was hesitant to say anything. And then it came out. So I'm really hesitant to say anything about Stray Kids here. But they, are, they want to keep their success, but something, there's just a big choices that they all need to make. And that's what this year is going to be about for them. Um, and this card shows up again. This is the um, Seven of Wands reversed. Now, this is all just about overwhelmed, giving up, lack of confidence. There is... They need to recoup. I really am seeing that. <sighs> Let's see here. Mm. All right. The end. So there could be a fresh beginning. That's good. We have death here. Death is happiness. That's, that's good. I'm happy to see that because that means there is a new beginning. There's some new beginning going on with it. And it's not just one member. It's This is flowing through everyone that I'm seeing so far. Here's the Page of Cups. Upright. This is a happy surprise. This is dreamers coming, you know, taking, reaching for the dream. Um... So something good is probably going to come around in the end that it's going to be, a, a, there's a happy surprise coming around, you know? Interesting. All right. We will get to the next person. And I think we're going to look into, um, he, he young Jin, he young Jin. Um, cause I already did Chang Min. I, did my stuff in reverse and I'm sorry, but we'll get to it. All right, here we go. Hello, people. We're back. We're back. Let's look into Hyeonjin and Hyeonjin. Uh, he's Pisces and Virgo. This Stray Kids reading has not gone in any way that I had expected it. I was like hoping to see all this. It's, 2023 is going to be just a very tough year and it I'm seeing for them and a lot of decisions to be made um, and possibly just making decisions to move on from things that first card that fell out the two of swords uh, so he too is facing a very the two of swords is like facing you know you have very difficult decision that you need to make and that keeps popping up in this readings these readings. <sighs> okay. Mm. Okay. And then the two of wands. It has a lot of the same same cards. You know, there's like over seventy cards here in this deck yet I'm pulling a lot of the same ones over and over this is making decisions leaving home planning getting stuff trying you know move, moving on forward uh, making that right decision
Okay. And then the Queen of Coins. So this is definitely dealing with money. Um, moving on, this is this is um, fine. Needing, wanting to make sure they choosing financial security. Um, there's something going on with the finances that is disturbing, to say the least. I think, folks. Hmm. Hmm. Something has gone wrong because they're not playing my playlist that I had set up. It's like, what? Okay. Okay, so the three of pentacles. We're, this is money. This is collaborating again, um, working with others. Um, this is teamwork. This is building on a future. That tough decision of who to work with, um, who to collab with, and I've seen that. Who should, you know, and. So there may have decisions there. Um, all right, and then the Four of Wands. This is celebration, and this under the Two of Wands. So. This is finding home, finding community, and if they're making a decision about where they're gonna home, home could be you know work related, you know where they live, you know, or what what agency they're with. I, um, okay, and the Four of Cups reverse. Well, you want to look at this so you can get a good idea. Four cups upright is just being apathetic, but this is having awareness of something that's been going on, sudden awareness, and being like, I'm going to choose happiness. Uh, it's accepting that staying here is not going to be conducive to my happiness because I'm seeing what's happening and I am moving forward. Because if I stay, I need to accept that it's not going to get better. Don't believe false promises. So, here we go for um, Hyunjun. And let's get into the next person. Yeah. All right, everybody. Let's get into Han. Uh, he's his sign, Sun signs Virgo. His moon sign is Pisces. So we got some earth and water energy going on here. Let's see what's in store for him for 2023. I think we kind of seen the trend. But, you know, let's see something a little different with him. Uh-huh. Ah! Interesting. So the Eight of Pentacles. We're dealing once again with money and work, career. That's with Pentacles and earth energy we're dealing here. And I'm going to, oof, he's, surra he's surrounded by the coins. He's having high standards, having high standards, passion for what they're doing. Um, could you be trying to learn a new skill? Like getting an apprenticeship, finding someone, teach them something new. I'm wondering. Okay, and then here's the Ace of Wands, upright. Ace is the beginning, fire energy, action. This is creating something having, you know, inspiration and being able to create, but it also has some willpower and desire going here. 
So he's um, wanting to expand to something different. I see. And learning, he's inspired to try other things right now. And, huh. But here's the Three of Cups. And for him, it's reversed. This makes me wonder. Um, he's feeling isolated. There's gossip. There's going to be some gossip about him. I mean, gossip, we always hear, but there's some, I want to see what kind of gossip. What is it going to involve with? Um, okay, so the star. Now, with the star energy, you know, this is, and it's reverse. He's feeling discouraged. And very insecure about what's happening in the workplace. Um, not being able to follow his heart, you know, his dreams. Um, well, let's see here. Okay, and the magician is upside down. The magician is usually about creating and... Um, you know, manifesting, but this is, there's, he needs to be careful. He needs to be very, very careful. Um, because there is, there's a whole lot of deception. There's a lot of lies going on. Um, he may be not realizing the deception around him with what with um outside of the, the core group you know but with others um has to do with his willpower wanting to make things there's somebody a trickster around him who who's trying to manipulate him. Um, gossip is going to talk about, there is, um, you know, the five of cups. And this time, it's she's right side up. And, I mean, uh, and so we are dealing with just a feeling lost and a grief, some self-pity, so, you know, feeling bad for himself. Um, feeling, because he was betrayed, he Feels like a fool for trusting. So that's what I see there. But, you know, I feel bad. I, um, I think, but I, I see him, um, being comforted and encouraged. I do see that. I want to see one more thing. I just, something. The Ace of Coins. Yeah, the King of Swords. And the Three of Cups. Yeah, there is, there is something here. And then with the star right side up this time. So what is going to happen? His career... It, Something is coming in, an opportunity, a new venture. The King of Swords, this is this is someone with an air sign, a leader, um, and he is thinking head over heart. He's letting the everyone know the truth. I, you know who this air sign is, everybody. We're looking at Bang Chan, the leader of the group. He is really going to be key in showing that there is better opportunities, there's something going on they could do, and encouraging Hen. Um, because, you know, the Four of Cups here is reversed. And this, you know, the Cups is all about your energy, you know, your emotions. 
and with this this is that sudden awareness and choosing happiness and acceptance so yeah and the star is upright this time and with an upright star this is hope finding hope again so yeah where he was feeling insecure he's gonna find healing and um a rebuilding a rebuilding there's a restructuring gonna happen with stray kids something and i think it's affecting each person very differently because each person had their own perspective view of what was happening and what was going on around them all right <laughs> we're not done yet no hey we're still going thanks for sticking around let's look at pilixu ah he is virgo sun sign moon aries let's see what's going on for 2023 i just heard breaking the mold and the magician card popped out and this time magician is right side up and then the previous reading here with poor hand it wasn't upside it was upside down and that was not good for him but the magician right side up we're looking at um really positive energy here manifesting creating something um it's it's about manifesting your talent your skills and your destiny is this card is pretty amazing so he's up to something Oh, and he just started singing Maniac just as I said his name. That is so cool that that's the song that just popped up. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is right side up. I think this is a person. Um, He's got to be a little romantic at heart i'm seeing here he's learning to follow his heart there he is so, i don't know where this romance is coming for him but it i don't know maybe that'll inspire his music uh, that's interesting i but i just i'm wondering if it's a water sign i'm just, you know because I just, I don't know, I'm sensing water sign here for him um, as that inspiration in following his heart and love. A um, bunch of cards fell out. Yeah. Here is the sun. And you see this is upright. Um... And the two together there holding hands. They're cute little kids, but they're all happy. And the sun, um, this is celebrating joy, pleasure, success. It's a fire. It's a fire. Uh, that's the sun. And, of course, um, the sign of it is the moon. Is um, the planet. It's sun. So... We gotta get some more cards. Okay, so I just this card popped up and I was like the Queen of Cups underneath the magician here. This is feminine energy, this is water sign, um It's someone in his life who's very compassionate and calm and just brings comfort. Something, what is going on with him? Oop, okay. Then there's the King of Cups. Once again, this is about compassion. This is how to find control and balance. And it's over the Knight of Cups. So with the romance, it's masculine energy. This could be a, a woman with masculine energy or a man. Um, 
It was a water sign. I am just, I am, I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so this is the Seven of Pentacles upside down. Pentacles, this is, you know, or sign, this is career and money. And it's upside down, so with the sun, something comes to light of all his hard work is not getting his rewards. And... Whatever's going on here is also a distraction to his career. <laughs> He's like following his heart and, you know, being all Mr. Romance with somebody and his distraction. And I think, you know, he might get in a little trouble. <laughs> He's not too careful. Let me pull out some more cards. Let's see here. Um. <laughs> Lovers, this dude's got love on the brain. Bone chicken, bone, bone. <laughs> it's just cute because this has all been such a sad, hard reading, you know, with the betrayal, you know, feeling, you know, things aren't coming they should get, and <laughs> and then you got Felix who just kind of like love is in the air. Here's the high priestess. This is all about intuition, and, and it's um, it's water sign once again, folks. <laughs> there is somebody. Um, yeah, there's a water sign all over him. I don't know who this is. But because he's an earth sign, it'd be very compatible. They would be. Okay. He is going to have to make a decision about his career, though. And this relationship. Something is... Because um, this is the Two of Pentacles. And this is... Um, realizing... He's got to adapt to change. He's got to make decisions between career and romance. Um, there's a big change that's going to happen with Stray Kids, which we know. And it, he has to make that. He's got a big decision to make. And how everything's going to be affected. That's what we see here for our little Felix Sue. He is so cute. Um, let's... <laughs> Go on to our next reading. Hi, everybody. We're now we're going to look into Seongwin and what is he going to can expect to happen in 2023. And that's only not very long. Today is actually December 22nd. Yesterday was uh, solstice. And Christmas is right around the corner. And then New Year's. So let's see here. Okay, mm, Seongwin. Now, remember, he is like Pilixu, um, Virgo Sun, Moon Aries. Okay, so <laughs> this reading starts out with a uh, bang. Um, the Tower. And <laughs> something is going to, what ha something's got to crumble and end. For a new rebuild. Um, uh huh. Mm, and this card. Okay. So, uh, this is good after the tower. This is the Seven of Swords. See, man, she's like, I got my shit together here. She's moving on. She's not staying around where there is problem. Nope, nope, nope. 
This is someone who's like, ha. This is someone who recognizes they are surrounded by a lot of deception and trickery. Theft. I'm hearing there is a theft. So, it this has, I think, has to do with the money. Um, that I keep saying that there's some money scandal happening. Yeah, okay. And then here's the Six of Swords. Upright. And we've been seeing this. This is transitioning, leaving on, behind something and moving on. Let me adjust my heater again. This is... This... What? Oh. <laughs> I think this is going to crush him a lot. Because he puts such hard work. Uh, I just say, he, poor guy. He knows he needs to move on. And here's the emperor. And he's right side up, okay? This isn't the same emperor person that we ha deal with. If you've seen my BTS <laughs> readings, there's always the evil emperor who shows up upside down. The trickster, manipulator, you know. The reverse king of swords, the king of... This person is bad news, we know. But this is upright. This is leader. This is a leader. And the emperor is fire energy. This is about authority and structure. This is um, ownership. Having your own autonomy. Oh... Breaking down to gain their own autonomy. I really am I'm seeing this. Um, I'm not sure if there's father energy there. Somebody, or a father figure, maybe. Okay, so over um, the deception that they're seeing here, we got judgment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this one. Ooh, judgment here is it's it's uh, it's a water sign. Um, this is a reckoning is going to happen because of this and an awakening of seeing all the deception. There, it's going to be shown. Um, this emperor guy, he is. Definitely um, speaking up for everyone, and gonna be um, helping everyone through this whole awakening of oh shit's hit the fan. Why is this going on? And I'm seeing bankruptcy maybe from something. That word just popped up. That is weird. Um, the Queen of Wands, she's upright here. This is a fire energy. This is feminine. This is um, courage and determination, passion for what they are, and finding joy. And with this right under um, him leaving and moving on, finding acceptance, yeah, it's going to take a lot of courage to make this choice that has to happen. And I think... This could divide them or bring them together so that they're stronger. All of the stray kids. So, see, strong men, dude, <laughs> I'm sorry. Now we are next going into our last member, the youngest IN. Hey, everybody, we got the last person, and then I'll do an, an exit, and maybe I, there's, there's something, I want to use Pendulum and ask some quick, because there's stuff that's, Popping up here. Oh, yeah. So, let's see here. I am, he's an Aquarius sun sign. That's air energy. Um, his moon is Leo. Very passionate Leo fire energy. All right. Let's see here. I am, what is going to be coming for you in 2023? Okay, here is the 
Four of Wands here is reversed. Now we know I, I've seen we've seen it already in this vi this video, where it's been upright with celebration of community. But this is finding a lack of support in the home front workplace. This is yeah, this is bad. He the, he's not being he's not getting the support he needs. It's like he is talented. It's He, I think he feels like he was a, uh, like a second thought, but he's not. That's a horrible way to feel. He's got, once again, two of swords, big, huge, tough ass decision. Um, because he's not be getting the support he needs. It's like, uh, do I just stick around and put up with this or do I move on? Um, hmm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's. Okay, folks. I N I N, sweetheart. Too many cards keep popping out. Just focus. I just, I need no more than three cards, please. All right, here's the Hermit reversed. He is not alone. <laughs> the Hermit upright, it's, you know, usually taking time for yourself. But um, I, my instinct went for this particular reading when I see the Hermit, he is not alone. Um, but there is a feeling of a loneliness, a feeling of rejection. But he's not alone. He, and he needs to remember. <laughs> the other guys are there too. They're all going through the same thing. You know, you're not alone. Don't feel isolated. Don't withdraw. I keep hearing, don't withdraw yourself. Don't withdraw yourself. You need to keep connected. And here's temperance. This is, I think, with that Leo energy and with wanting to respond almost like um, very spontaneous kind of energy, uh, just, but he needs to proceed. We got temperance here. He needs to avoid those extremes, um, decisions. He needs to find, he needs to be patient and find the middle path. Um, of which way of to where to go, not go from one extreme to another. Um, I think kind is feeling like he wants to just implode almost. Um, mm, there is a lot of conflict, which here's the five of swords. Okay. We know the Five of Swords here is um, winning at all costs. Um, He's got a tough decision. He's tough decisions, and he is realizing he's got to make the right choice, and, you know, he might have to be a little sneaky. Might have, to, and I think that's something he doesn't really feel comfortable with. But all right, and here's the Queen of Cups. This person, water sign, feminine energy here. Um, she is going to be helping, or they are, I will say, help them find the peace and comfort. Um. In not being alone, reaching out to others, there is, it's like, don't be reckless, just find peace. Things are turning upside down. You've got huge changes, big decision to make. Don't walk in fear. Walk in power, love, and your sound mind. Don't let them 
mess with your mind. And I'm seeing the Queen of Wands here as someone who's trying to mess with the mind. She, because it's over all this stuff, have temperance. He can't trust whoever this Queen of Wands is. This energy, it's a fire, feminine energy. And I've been sensing a feminine energy behind the trouble, behind the scenes of the, the trouble that's going on in the agency. I don't know who she is, but she trouble, or he with the feminine energy, he trouble. Um, they're really trying to, um, they've been sneaky, but truth is coming out and they're going to try and do everything to cover it up. They're going to try it. Yeah. Um, now here is, as you see the six of pentacles and you see the pentacles are on the scale, like, you know, the sign of a Libra. Okay. Um, this is where you kind of use intuitively reading these cards. Now you see here, this usually is giving and generosity and sharing. Okay. And, but we're going to, when it's surrounded by some of these other cards. So there is, I'm seeing, and this is, um, earth energy. But I, with the scales, I'm seeing Libra energy influencing, um, stepping in and helping him. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the, here's, we only got a couple more cards that just fell out. We have the Ace of Cups reverse, which, um, is block creativity. Someone is trying to block, you know, feeling like you can't do the decisions you want to make. The two of cups is all about decisions, making the right decisions and a connection, a partnership, unity, following the group. And uh, this last card, this, this card keeps popping up. It's the Empress reverse, the Empress, an evil woman, a sneaky woman who is cruel. Uh, trying to stop, trying to divide the group so that they don't stay united. That's what I see here, because if they are united, she's outnumbered, and yeah. So, <sighs> we're just going to stop for a moment, and then we're going to do a wrap-up. All right, everybody, thank you for um, these readings, sticking around for the readings, you know, wrapping things up. Stray Kids have got a big year coming up ahead of them. Not going to be easy. They, it's going to be a very tough year. A lot of things, um, that, a lot of big decisions that they're going to have to make. Um, there is, I do see that whatever the decision is, it is them choosing their happiness. And I wonder what that's going to be able to look like. So let's see here. I'm pulling up the pendulum as I said I would. Let's see here. Show me yes, please. Show me yes. You see, I am not moving this. My fingers are stop. Show me yes. Yes is moving back and forth. All right. Thank you. Can you please show me no? Show me what no is. Please. Okay, it's back and forth. Okay. I mean, it's side to side. Please show me that you don't know or it's unclear. It's unclear. Can you please show me? Okay, so it's circular motion. Okay, I want you guys to be able to see this better. See my hands. Yeah, I do shake, but, you know, I'm holding my arm out in the air. But I'm not moving the pendulum, okay? Is someone in JYP... Um, being deceptive to the members of Stray Kids. Is someone in JYP being deceptive to 
P.S. Okay. Um, are they going to break a con is contract? No. Okay. Are they going to sign on a new contract? No. Okay. Are they going, is Stray Kids going to leave G JYP? Are they going to break, are they going to leave JYP? That is, ooh, they might do that. <laughs> okay. I just, let me see something here. That's an unclear. I was just, I just had a thought. Wanted to ask. Things are not clear yet about some of the stuff, how it's all going to unfold. So we <laughs> just going to have to wait till next year, folks. Hey, stays. Remember, support these guys. Don't let them down. L encourage them to do what's right, to follow their hearts and um, regain creative choices. I see. I just this. This is. <laughs> creative choices they need they want to have more control of creative choices and they want to um the it has to do with money finances they are not getting what they're worth so there has to be a change and they are looking to make a decision based on you know being able to have creative more creative control and getting what they're worth that's See what happens. And, and we got some, you know, looking for love, too, over here. <laughs> Pelixu. Oh. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I hope you find happiness, bud. I really do. All right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being here. Thank you for sticking around. This is a long video. This is going to be a hard one to load up on YouTube, but hey, I'll get it done. Remember also, please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know if you want actually more in-depth readings on individual members or how certain members work with another, their chemistry. Um, I just need to know. I'll put up a poll also. And not just subscribe, but hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, commenting. Please let me know what other readings you want to see. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Remember, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I love you all. Bye. <laughs>